Ben Herman. Woo! So I was thinking about time travel recently because I hang out with mostly white people. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime anyone asks me, you know, it's like, what would you do with a time machine? The question stresses me out. I have to think about it for too long. And I don't have to, because it doesn't exist. You know, it does, you can say anything. You can say, I would go back and enjoy a crisp cola 10 seconds ago. It doesn't matter <laughs> what you say. After you say it, Doctor Who is not going to push you into the TARDIS and be like, let's go, Mr. Walk the Walk. Let's talk the talk. <laughs> I was thinking though, if I did have a time machine, maybe what I would do is I'd gather really great athletes and I'd go back in time to like ancient Greece and I'd make new mythology. <laughs> you know, like just bring Simone Biles back to Athens and be like, look, it's Artemis. It's just like 15 flips in a row. <laughs> <laughs> you got a new Ted Ed special on it on YouTube. You know, I think that'd be interesting. A lot of people say uh, they would kill Hitler. They had a time machine, it's a very popular response. Uh, who here would kill Hitler? Can you get like some round of applause, wow. show of hands? Who would who kill Hitler if given the chance? Yeah. Woo. Absolutely. Woo. How? <laughs> Everybody always has the drive, no one has a plan. How would you kill Hitler? <laughs> Zach, how would you kill Hitler? Uh, what do you do for a living, Zach? I act. You act, yeah, that's that's pretty close to being an assassin. <laughs> you know? Those skills are very transferable, I think. <laughs> then people say, you know, well, I would just kill Hitler as a baby. Yeah, that'll give you the moral high ground, being a baby murderer. <laughs> Much better than Hitler. You're really, really playing those odds for the uh, to getting into heaven, my friend. But everybody gets tunnel vision, I think, when they think about killing Hitler. There's ethics involved, right? Would you, would you kill one man to save a bunch of others? Because you can't kill Hitler, obviously, after he rises to power you're gonna to be too late. You can't kill him before, because then he's technically innocent, right? There's the ethics. People get tunnel vision about murder for some reason. There's an obvious solution. You get a time machine, right? You go back, you find Hitler's dad, nine months before Hitler's born, and you blow him. <laughs> no more Hitler, no more Holocaust. That's the answer. There's no ethical conundrum with that. What, you tell you would blow a guy's head off, but you wouldn't blow a guy's head to stop the Holocaust? <laughs> I mean, this is the classic trolley problem, right? On one side, we got millions of innocent people. On the other side, you got Hitler, and everyone's like, oh, should I throw the switch? Should I not throw the switch? Or you could find the weirdo who's created this whole experiment, and you could just seduce him, and then he canceled the experiment. <laughs> Put that in your philosophy class. <laughs> Aristotle can air a swallow these nuts, baby. <laughs> Got an interview at Harvard later, so. Woo! <clears throat> so racism sucks, huh? Ooh, yeah. yeah, it was really quiet with a lot of white people in here when I said the racism. <laughs> Getting all of your names, you'd be trending on Twitter by the morning, okay? <laughs> racism sucks. I don't know. There's like a lot of nuance to the conversation, I think. There's really two sides of every story. No, racism sucks. You know what the worst part about it is, though? Is it's more than just hateful and dangerous. It's also petty. They didn't need to make it petty, too. Racism was, was carrying an awful lot of weight already and all the bad things it was doing. They didn't have to make it petty in addition. With stereotypes, they're not always dangerous in the way that like, you know, like these people are criminals. Sometimes they just don't allow us to enjoy objectively good things. Black people love fried chicken. Jewish people love money. Asian people love rice. You know who else does? Everybody! <laughs> Everybody likes all of those things. If I had gift baskets for everyone here and it was full of fried chicken, money, and rice, it would, you would be ecstatic, would you not? <laughs> but if everybody here was black, then we'd be like, oh, well, that's kind of racist. That's not fair. Can you imagine if, we are, if I started a rumor, you know, white people love sleeping in comfortable beds. <laughs> I was hooking up with this white person, I went to their bed, it was soft as a cloud. It's like, oh, does that help you sleep away the white guilt? 
<laughs> Imagine having to go into like a Lebanon and you're like, oh yeah, I need a mattress because lumbar support. And it's like, yeah, I bet you do, you salty and cracker eating straight out of the sleeve ass looking buffoon. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, we'll get you in a nice tempur pedic you grocery store mannequin come to life. 